Welcome to the Proto Art. Be sure to like and subscribe for new content. In this video, I'll show you how you can leverage the power of waiting to get the final results that you're looking for. The image that you see on the screen on the left is a dog that was supposed to be made of water. However, you can see that's not the case. On the right is something along the lines of more of what I was looking for, of a dog completely made of water. Now, how do we do this? Well, we can achieve this with something called waiting. Waiting essentially tells Stable Diffusion to focus on specific keywords, concepts, artists, styles, and mediums. You can do this in a variety of ways. Using parentheses can emphasize on specific words. Square brackets can diminish the attention of a specific word. In Stable Diffusion, wrapping a word in multiple parentheses can boost the weight of it. Essentially, a word is enclosed in parentheses, the model emphasizes it more on its output. I'll link both of these articles that I found really helpful in making this video. As you can see on the screen from this cheat sheet, one parentheses increases the attention of a word by 1.1. Two parentheses will increase the attention of the word by 1.21. One bracket will decrease it and so on and so forth. So feel free to screenshot this or check out the article. And then the second article, it breaks down essentially what these words all mean in greater detail. Me being a visual learner myself, I figured this might be a little more helpful. I started off with a very simple prompt of an apple, banana, strawberry. Great Scott. Now, Stable Diffusion doesn't understand what I want to focus on. It's just kind of giving me an array of different things. So I can fine tune exactly what I want to see on screen using different syntax. As mentioned, you can use brackets, numerical values, or plus or minus symbols to also add emphasis. Now, as I scroll up, you'll see the different words that I'm adding an emphasis to. For this example, I have plus symbols with the apple, the banana, and the strawberry. I wanted to test how these results changed in Diffusion B. Being that Diffusion B uses the same syntax as Automatic 11.11, you're going to be using the brackets method, along with the numerical values. So as that cheat sheet showed, increasing the amount of brackets or parentheses will increase the attention or decrease the attention. Adding three parentheses around the strawberry added emphasis to the strawberries itself, so that's primarily what you see on the screen. Adding it around the banana added more emphasis to that. Adding it around the apple added emphasis to that. As mentioned, there's more than one way to kind of achieve this. So you can also add numerical values. As seen on screen, I have the parentheses, apple, one, banana, one, and strawberry set to 1.5. So there's more emphasis on the strawberry. So that's primarily what's taking over in this overall image. I did the same with the banana. So now that's the main thing you see on the screen. Same thing with the apple. Without adding a numerical value, the default is set to one. You can also overdo it by having your value set too high as seen on screen. So you can see the apple starting to look a little distorted now. Same thing with the banana, as well as the strawberry. As mentioned before, you can kind of push and pull how much emphasis you want on a specific word in your prompt. So changing the values of these different fruits, I can tell it to focus more on the strawberry versus anything else, or the banana, or the apple. So I have the apples set to 1, the banana and the strawberry set to 0.8, and I did the same for these other examples here. Using this method, you can fine tune specifically things you want to see in your prompt. Not only that, you can combine different things. Following the example I saw in the article, I applied it to my own prompt. So I combined a koala and a turtle. And you can see, using the brackets and a numerical value, you can adjust how much influence one has over the other. As I increase or decrease the numbers, you'll see the influence changes quite a bit. Some retaining the shape and color and even texture. As the numerical value changes, you'll see the influence on the image change overall. This is a fun way to kind of experiment and create some brand new ideas. If you're working on concept art, working on character design, or just trying to find a very unique reference image, this can be a very useful tool in your arsenal. Now you can see without using parentheses for the second prompt idea, I had a tiger with a turtle shell and a giraffe neck. So each one of these images aren't really consistent. It doesn't really know what I want to focus on. Now using parentheses, I can tell it what primarily I want to see in this image. So I'm using two parentheses around the turtle shell, three parentheses around the giraffe neck. So its primary focus will be on the giraffe neck itself, but you can also see the influence of the shell on the second image here. And again, playing around with the values, whether using brackets, parentheses, or numerical value, you can drastically change the image around. 
For the example you see now, I have more parentheses set around the turtle shell. So that's the primary word that Stable Diffusion is focused on and will be more influential in the resulting image. And as stated in the article and previously in this conversation, if a word is influencing the image too strongly, you may want to use a lower value than one to reduce the strength of that in the overall prompt. So you can see that illustrated here with the tiger. I'm lowering the strength of the turtle shell and the giraffe neck. Now my resulting image just looks like a tiger. So for the following image, I added more emphasis on the giraffe neck and the turtle shell, primarily the giraffe neck. So now that's gonna be dominating the overall result. Although you do see some texture from the turtle in the giraffe itself. You can also leverage this when you're creating images around items. So if you have products that you're trying to mock up and you really wanna focus on something specific, you can utilize weights to do this. For this example, I'm emphasizing on the word glass. On the second example, I'm emphasizing on the word color. So the entire image will be blue. And as seen in the beginning of this video, without using weight around the dog and just water, the emphasis is specifically on the water itself. And now that Diffusion B also is incorporating styles, you can influence what that looks like. Now, even though these two sets of images have the same numerical value, now using the new implementation of style in Diffusion B, the resulting image is drastically different. And again, adding multiple brackets or parentheses can either add emphasis or take away emphasis on specific parts. So you can leverage this along with negative prompting as we did previously to really fine tune the end image. And a reminder, there are multiple ways you can leverage weights, numerical values, parentheses, or brackets. So using a combination, I really was able to emphasize the dog made of water, not just the water itself. With that being said, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. Try using waiting to correct any errors you may have with previous prompts and see how it turns out. All right, y'all.